My favorite time of year is May when we go out and canvas the community and talk to our neighbors, and talk to the residents in the community and listen to their needs and hear from them directly. And as a leader of the organization, that's extremely important to me that I know that what we're offering at St. Stephen's meets those needs. And so when I hear families telling me that they would love to make changes in terms of their nutrition and get healthier and all that, they just cannot afford it. At that point, it says to me, we need to not only make sure people are not going hungry, but we need to really turn a corner in terms of nutrition. The fact that people are not only going hungry at night, that's just unacceptable in our community to me. And the fact that other people can access healthy fruits and vegetables, but just because you live in a certain neighborhood or zip code, you cannot, that's unacceptable as well. You know, I don't want everyone ever to think that we ever get complacent. We're constantly challenging ourselves as much as we're challenging the community. You know, we ask parents to do a lot, to begin changing their behavior for the sake of their children. And so in order to ask someone to make changes, we need to make changes too. The times that we're living in when the numbers are stacked against us, the odds are getting greater, but the cost of not doing something is even greater than that. And so I think when it comes to innovation, the New Food Nutrition Center, Aquastar, all of that, it's about being aggressive and bold to have an impact. I moved from New York City to Columbus, Ohio. Me and my husband, we have 15 children, three sets of twins that we are very proud of. Um, we don't live too far from St. Stephen's. There are no grocery stores. We have um, little corner stores, but there are no grocery stores here. So it is difficult to shop. Somebody said, well, St. Stephen's has a pantry. And so we came. They not only embraced us, but they did give us food. And it wasn't just, you can do this here, take the food and go. It's here, take the food with some education, and we're gonna show you how to continue to do this. They helped us get through the roughest time in our life. I'm 35. I'm a single parent to two teenage girls. Um, I've been staying in the Linden area for three years now. There aren't a lot of big supermarkets like Kroger's, Walmart. There's just a bunch of corner stores. It's not easy just eating from the corner stores. You know, you might want more than just a Hot Pocket and a bag of chips and a, you know, 40 cent pop. Being on the low income, you figure out how to manage your bills and your money. Knowing that you're gonna run out, you have to find other resources. I have to find a way to get these girls to eat, have proper nutrition. So I definitely utilized the food pantry to get me through those weeks where I just didn't know what I was gonna do. With the proper information, and the right attitude, I can come here and, you know, get my girls fed and get myself fed. And, you know, that's, that's very important. My favorite thing in the Nutrition Center are the fruits and vegetables because you can mix and match them so many different ways at home. I'm always making all types of salads, fruit salads, new creations, and it's just healthy. It begins with food, but I think there's so much more to it. And the more people feel more like in control of their lives and what they can do, they'll make better decisions and choices because they know that they have them. I like to come to St. Stephen's for like the breakfast and lunch, and I like how the teachers are nice. Our goal is always increase education and then to improve the nutrition and the health of our residents. And so in an attempt to do that, I had to think of one strategy that could address both. But at the same time, not a very St. Stephen's only solution, a solution that would be inclusive to the community. So not only would they be learning how to improve their health and wellness and increase education in the community, they would be a part of that solution. And so that's how Project Aquastar got started. Aquastar is our community garden and aquaponics greenhouse that operates on the west side of our building. My name is Chardonnay, and I've been coming to St. Stephen's for about three years now. Last year, I was in a program also 
through St. Stephen's called the George Washington Carver Food Research Institute. They actually taught us a different way of growing than the traditional way of gardening. They basically did aquaponics. In our aquaponics structure, we're farm raising tilapia fish using the waste of the fish to provide nutrients to grow vegetation. But you also have to know the pH level, make sure everything is balanced, make sure the nitrates and everything are in there right, because if it's not a complete balance, then things are starting to die and it's not going to grow the way you want them to. Our hoop house is where we have fruits and vegetables that we're growing year round through composted soil so they can grow in its original state and be the most nutritious food that our families can access. I would convince people that they want to garden because a lot of processed food, you don't know where it came from, you don't know what pesticides been sprayed on it. With the community seeing the vegetables being grown, I think you'll get a lot more people coming out to come to the community center. I want Aquastar to light up the faces of our young people, to feed the souls of our old people, and to educate our next generation. It really changed a perspective on what I wanted to do as far as going to college because I've actually looked further into agriculture engineering. I think I want to help the world in our food system. We all benefit when we build contributory citizens. And so that seed that we plant, whether it's in Aquastar or the seed we plant in child care, we're trying to yield a community benefit. We have fun sometimes. Well, all the time. I would really give back and just teach somebody else what I learned because it was a very wonderful experience. One of our most important ingredients of the work that we do here at St. Stephen's Community House is to have what I call the champions of the work, and that is the best and brightest team of St. Stephen's Community House. They are compassionate, they're very driven, they're determined to make a difference in their community. They're not just talking about change, they're making change happen. People who volunteer, they're great. They have open minds and, and great attitudes. So let's say I'm having a, a rough day. I can come into the community center, the nutrition center, and see a big happy smile welcoming me, and it'll take my attention from the roughness of that day. This is how I look at St. Stephen's at each stage, from newborn to pre to adult, that they are there to help raise you up as a community. Without a great home and good nutrition, my girls wouldn't be successful in high school. And I definitely push them. They, they ha have no choice. You're going to college, you're going to become something. It takes a lot of resources to deliver high quality services and to the quantity that we have to deliver each and every day. Our customer service numbers are high. We've seen so many increases in not only our food and nutrition center, but in our after school programs in terms of the third grade need and education. We will deliver on our promise. We continue to be a good value proposition to donors and supporters and volunteers. We don't take time, talent, or treasure for granted. We earn it. In the world we live in, it's unfortunate there's such a gap of opportunity. I think the children at St. Stephen's and the Linden are just as bright as anybody else's child and has just as much potential as any other child. It's just a matter of opportunity. And if we don't create that opportunity, shame on us.